Hey hey and welcome for this newsletter of Hit the Blocks. Every week I talk about the latest news and tutorials about Ethereum DApp development and Ethereum smart contract. If you haven't subscribed to the newsletter, make sure to go to the website of Hit the Blocks and you input your email and every week you will receive the newsletter. So in this newsletter, I will talk about different things like a lot of news about the 0x trading protocol, an update to my book Learn Ethereum DApp a, and a new home for Eat the Blocks Pro. So let's get started. So first, I so last week, as you know, I've released Eat the Blocks Pro, so the pro version of this YouTube channel where I, I deliver an extra video where we build actual project from A to Z and we go into more advanced topic. So I received some feedback about the, the initial service and I took a decision to uh, improve it the blocks pro a lot and so I gave it a new home and so you can find new home at this address and if you scroll down you will see the detail of all the series that I offer in it the blocks pro so so far there are two courses so the to-do list dap with all the free video but also some exclusive video so let's click on it to see what we have here so if you scroll down you will have the class curriculum and I've added three exclusive videos so refactor the to-do list that with react so there are three parts and this week I will be releasing other updates to this course with Redux and Saga and I've also started another course which is a smart contract 30 where every every day i will be releasing a new video about uh, building smart contracts so this is a class for beginner uh, so i've already released simple smart contract and today i will release a, a new video and until i complete this course so it will take about 20 days and so you don't have to buy the individual course, but there is like an all access monthly subscription that gives you access to all the courses of Hit the Blocks Pro. So at the very bottom of this page, you can see the different package. So you have a basic membership where you have access to all the existing and new videos. And also you have access to the private Telegram group. And you also have a premium membership where not only you get access to the videos, but also I will give you one hour of one-on-one -on -one Skype coaching with me. So if you have any question about Ethereum or spot contract, then we can have a Skype conversation and you can ask me any question. And you can take the membership monthly or you can take it yearly and you'll have a discount. Yeah, so I basic, the basic idea of uh, for the, um, the release schedule is to release a new video every week, but at the beginning of Eat the Blocks Pro, uh, actually, I will release many more video because I, I want to make it very valuable as soon as possible. So uh, for at least the first month, I will be releasing a new video on this every day. So you'll get a lot of value out of it. If you have any question about this, make sure to ask your question in the comment of this video. Then. The second thing I'd like to tell you about is an update to my book, Learn Ethereum DAP. So Learn Ethereum DAP is the first product I released about two months ago. And basically it takes all the free series on the to-do list DAP. And it also adds some exclusive chapter. I finally released these exclusive chapters and they're about refactoring the DAP with React. So in these three chapters, we will get rid of jQuery and we replace it with React. So the DAP will become much more modern and that's really something that you can use as a basis to build your own production DAP. Then we'll update Web3 to the latest versions, which is uh, at the time of this recording, 1.0 beta 36. So you can enjoy all the latest features such as uh, async await syntax of ES6 and base and also we'll replace truffle contract by web3 so we basically don't need truffle contract anymore the the latest version of web3 is really good and you can use it to build a smart contract abstraction so that's going to simplify our, our dap so yeah that's it for these updates um this is not all the update that i will be releasing 
there are still a couple of updates that I will be releasing in the next few weeks about uh, Redux and, and Saga. So in the end, you'll have like a very modern DAP with React, Redux and, and Saga. Uh, I know that Redux and Saga are quite complex topic and many people feel uh, very intimidated by them. But if you understand them, it can really simplify your development a lot. And so, so I will make it easy for you and, and explain you clearly how you can integrate this to your DAP. Next. Uh, we have a, an announcement of the 0x project that released something called 0x Instant. So first of all, for those who don't know, what is 0x? 0x is the leading trading protocol on Ethereum. So you're probably aware of decentralized exchanges. So there was a sort of proliferation of decentralized exchanges this year. Like We saw many, many different... Uh, um, decentralized exchanges and quickly there was a need for uh, coordination and cooperation between this, these DEXs and so the Xerox protocol addressed this problem by creating a trading protocol where you can have different decentralized exchanges that are connected and basically are able to share their, their liquidity so that's very important to have a healthy trading ecosystem on the Ethereum blockchain. And so, so they're, they're developing the ecosystem. And so recently they released this thing, Xerox Instant, where you can basically embed a trading widget on your website very easily. So what is the typical use case of this? So let's say you are creating a collectible game, like let's say like a copycat of, uh, of CryptoKitties. So you will need a marketplace because you want your, your users to be able to buy and sell the items that they purchase in your game. So for this, you need an exchange. So you could set up your, your own exchange, but what is easier is to uh, use in a, the existing infrastructure and direct your user to this. And so with this widget, you can do this. So you can configure this widget in two ways. So the first way is you will use one of the API of 0x where uh, you will basically tap into the existing liquidity of all the decentralized exchanges that are using the 0x protocol. So that's the default option and that's what I recommend you if you want to use this widget. That's the that's just something very plug and play works right out of the box right out of the out, out of the oh man how do you say this out of the bat sorry losing my English. And, and the second thing you can do is configure this widget to work with a custom liquidity provider. So you could uh, set up your own 0x relayer if, uh, if you want to, but that's defini definitely more work. So that's like a more advanced option. I'm actually thinking of releasing a course on Etherblocks Pro about the 0x protocol. Uh, let me know in the comment if it's something that you will be interested in because uh, I believe that, yeah, many people will be super excited about this. Next, another article, 22 ideas to explore with 0x. So, there are a couple of people who are interested in 0x, but they asked me, Julian, uh, what kind of thing I can build with 0x because okay well I can build a decentralized exchange but is is that it like uh, are there other ideas and yes there are really a ton of ideas we are really at the core of the financial innovation inside ethereum and so in this article you will find a lot of ideas that you can uh, implement uh, for example uh, one thing that I find was a a decentralized exchange for non-fungible token like ERC721. So specialized, uh, not for ERC20 tokens, but for, for uh, in-game assets. And that's probably something that we will see a lot coming in 2019 as the focus will switch from ERC20 token to ERC721 tokens who will never be regulated by the SEC or something like this. So that's interesting to be aware of this shift in the market. Uh, they talk about other uh, other ideas like uh, localization of decentralized exchanges. So 
meaning to translate a DEX in your in your, in like in a, in another language. Uh, yeah, that's that's very interesting. Yeah, so check it out this article. Then I saw this tweet storm on the state of zero X. So that's that this this tweet storm is by the one of the co-founder of Z, the Z, uh, DXDY protocol, which is another trading protocol to do to do margin trading. Uh, so it's like a different kind of trading for more advanced trader who want to take more risk. And so that's a that's a good uh, review of what's the what's going on on the zero X project. What's good? What's less good? And one of the criticism of this tree storm is that uh, with on the zero X protocol, the only way that you can pay for trading fees, so you need to pay the relayer to um, to for relaying your your order, and you pay this fee with an ERC twenty token that is called uh, ZRX. So that's the native token of the zero x protocol and so this guy antonio G giuliano he, he criticized this and he said that uh it's a problem for more widespread adoption because it forces users to first uh, buy this zrx token and so it kind of getting in the way of the user flow so yeah that's an interesting um there are a lot of interesting insight about the zero x protocol by someone who is really knowledgeable and then there is this article about how to decentralize your DAP with iExec. So what is iExec? So iExec is a protocol to do a, a to have a market of decentralized computation. So you, if you've been using AWS, you know that you can rent some EC2 instances on demand, and there is a market for buying this uh, com computing uh, capability. So I exec kind of want to do the same, but on the blockchain, and it will allow you to uh, rent the processing power of, uh, of your computer, for example. Um, so this article introduced you, uh, what is I, I exec? I find the ID interesting on the surface. Uh, it seems very new, very innovative. However, when you dig in, into it, I think w I, I'm not sure how they can ever compete with uh, Audible US uh, with the current format. And I'm wondering what kind of project sees some value in having the, the computation being distributed. Like, let's say if you take like scientific calculus, like uh, calculation, all they want is the calculation to be done. But why would they care about it being decentralized or not? Also, if it is decentralized, for sure, it's going to be more expensive than centralized. But in most cases, the only important variable is the cost. So I'm really curious if anybody knows uh, what kind of project would benefit from such a model. I'm really curious, like, please write down in the comment. What, what do you think? Then there is this tutorial on how to steal ethers. So uh, that's someone who created a new tool um, to do symbolic execution of smart contracts. So that sounds complicated, but basically this is a tool for scanning vulnerable contracts. And so this is basically an article about security. So security is super important if you're a smart contract developer and you should definitely be aware of the main pitfall. So this is like a a good way to learn a bit about it. Next, we have this new ERC 1633 refungible token. So you're probably aware of NFT non-fungible token, but what is this thing refungible? So the general idea of this ERC is that sometime you wanna have a shared ownership of a NFT token. So let's say that you have a CryptoKitties currently with the ERC721 standard, you can just have one person who own these CryptoKitties. But there are many situations where it'd be beneficial to have several owner. And with this token, it's possible to do this. So you could just buy a sort of share of a CryptoKitties instead of buying the whole thing. 
the CryptoKitties, the ERC721 contract will be owned not by an external address, but by a smart contract that will implement this interface. So I think this is very relevant uh, because, as I say, from uh, from next year, we will see more and more decentralized exchanges focusing on, on ERC721 tokens. Then I find this introduction to IPFS. So IPFS is a sort of sister project to Ethereum, which is a decentralized network for file storage. So the, the general ID is it's actually it has some similarities with something like BitTorrent where uh, basically data uh, will be stored uh, on, on different computers, but not on any specific computer. And IPFS so, so far, it hasn't been really used, but I think in the future, uh, one way it could take off is with DAP because the canonical architecture of a DAP is not to have any centralized part, but currently almost every DAP have a, a central server somewhere to with a backend that serves the front end. And then after it loads in your browser and connect to the smart contract. But with IPFS, you wouldn't need to have this centralized server. You can actually have your backend in the IPFS cloud and you will have a DAP which is 100% decentralized. Unfortunately, that is not really um, feasible today because it's harder for user to use your DAP if you, you put you if you put it entirely on IPFS. But in the future, as we see more and more tools, this might change. Um, yeah, so this is a very high level on about what is uh, what is IPFS. And if you're curious about it, you can check it out. And finally, I find this tutorial on what is sharding. So you're aware of Ethereum 2.0. So this project of scaling Ethereum so that Ethereum can process more transaction. And something that is very core to this project is sharding this idea that we will uh, cut down the data in, uh, in the cut down the blockchain data, sorry, in different pieces, and we'll have different group of computer called shard that will process transaction related to certain addresses. So this article is a also a high level overview of what is sharding. The specification of, specification of sharding are changing often. So what you read now might be a little bit uh, might be might become invalid in one or two months but in any case it's it's interesting to see what is the thought process and how everything evolve what do you guys think about sharding do you, do you think it will really solve ethereum problem or do you have you seen other scaling solution in other blockchain that you guys find interesting let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this video, give it a like and also make sure to subscribe to the channel to see more newsletter. Thanks for watching. See you for my next videos. Bye bye.